What is going on whenever it comes to the price for Injective? Welcome back to the channel, the web guide community. We are going to be doing a quick update whenever it comes to INJ. Now, obviously, we have been talking about this one a lot on this channel, and we are going to continue to because I still believe it is extremely undervalued going into our next bull run. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you guys need to understand that yes, we have had a pullback and I'm gonna assume that's because one, we ran up massively and two, because Bitcoin has actually had a pullback. So as stated, we're gonna dive into the price action and we're gonna be diving into the charts and you guys need to see about what we have to talk about today. Alrighty, so if you guys are a big fan of Injective, then you know what to do. Smash up that like button. This helps this video get out to the public, but most importantly, smash up that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're actually notified whenever I post videos, which is every single day, Monday through Friday. We literally only talk about five cryptos on this channel, and Injective is one of them. And also, please do not forget that, no, this is not financial advice. So let's go ahead and dive right into the goodies. So whenever it comes to injective, you guys can actually see we're up today at about 5 to 6%, which isn't bad at all. Our current rank is sitting at 81, which isn't bad either. The market cap is hovering a little bit above 500 million and the volume is up today over 52 percent now you guys will see for the circulating supply it has not changed for a good while so this is still a good sign now if we actually take a look here at the overall price action for injective you guys can clearly see that we are technically still in a very very nice bullish uptrend right so we did hit a previous high right here around this area so we're talking around nine dollars and 35 cents technically it was around like nine dollars and 85 cents because i was watching it but yeah so injective you guys absolutely a beautiful move still creating higher lows which is currently good obviously the volume has been dying a little bit here but hey i'm expecting some important price action and i would like to go ahead and discuss this with you right now all righty so ladies and gentlemen let's go ahead and break down the charts and I got to tell you what I'm about to tell you is very important so make sure you guys actually pay attention all right so for injected the first thing I want to mention is the fact that we still have what are known as higher lows we have a low here right and we have a higher low here that is technically our first ascending support which is bullish then we have a low here and a higher low here and a higher low here. This actually confirms our second ascending support. Now, in our previous videos, we did state we had another ascending support, which was our third one. However, we have officially broken down below it. Now, the next thing I would like to talk about is going to be our previous local high, which is right around here. Technically, it shows around $9.70, and as stated, I believe it was around $9.85 because I was technically watching it. And you guys can see for the price action for Injective that we actually broke down and created what is known as a lower high, which is normally considered as a bearish signal, right? Normally, you want to backtest the key level area or the previous local high right on the dot in order for it to still be valid. In this case, it did not happen. Now, you guys will see for Injective that our price action has been slowly breaking down. We had a nice move up a few times, but we really struggled with this blue squiggly line, also known as the 200 EMA. And whenever price action is below it, it is considered bearish. And whenever price action is above it, it is considered bullish. So whenever it comes to the price action, you guys can clearly see that once we broke below it, we just struggled for some time, right? We've also formed what is known as a descending resistance, which is causing us to be short-term bearish. Now it is good that for injective that we got to bounce off this ascending support, right? And we technically have created what is known as a higher low long term. So what are we going to be looking for? Well, at this moment, we're fighting with this descending resistance, this yellow line. We're fighting with a 200 EMA and uh, we're fighting with a strong horizontal resistance, which is technically around like $6.50. Now, I want you guys to understand that whenever it comes to injective, 
that we really need to get a breakout back above this key level area. So around 650, we don't want to just touch it and break back down. We don't want that. We need to break back above it. You can see that there was a little bit of support here, a little bit of support here, a little bit of support here, and technically some resistance here. So for objective, it's going to be important that if we want to continue this overall bullish trend that we actually get above that and continue up. That is what we really need. But the question is, is, is that going to happen? Because if Injective manages to break to the downside, say below like $6, then we're going to be looking for continuation below our ascending support, and we're possibly going to be heading down further to the downside. Now, I have stated multiple times in our previous videos, what I really would like to see whenever it comes to Injective, ladies and gentlemen, is I would like to see some kind of consolidation. And a consolidation is simply where you just kind of trade sideways and that is it. And the reason I'm stating this is because whenever you have a massive run-up like we've had with Injective, price action obviously has to come back down. People have to take profit. But what you need after that is you need to create some kind of floor. We need to create some kind of base. We need to get rid of the sellers. That is what we need to do. And the only way to do that is by holding a strong key level area. Now, the question is, is where is that going to be, right? Where is that going to be? Now, for Injective, ladies and gentlemen, if we break down, it's okay. I got to make that very, very clear. So what I would like to see most importantly is, say, in between, say, this price action area, or like right here around 650 and maybe all the way down between $5.50. Now, obviously, I could be wrong 100% here, but I'm telling you what we would like to see. It'd be very, very important that for Injective, if we can create some kind of a consolidation, as stated multiple times, just kind of trade around in this area right here, and then eventually get that big move up, then this is going to be an extremely bullish sign. That is what we need. This could be possibly a massive setup going into our next bull run. Okay, now if we happen to break back down as stated, right, if we happen to break back down, say this key level area right here below, say $5.50, then it's not going to be looking all that great. So we really need to keep our eyes on Injective. We need to see if we could trade sideways as stated, and we need to see if we can create some kind of consolidation so the price can get a monster move up to the upside. And we've talked about in previous videos that whenever it comes to Injective, ladies and gentlemen, remember the last bull run, technically Injective, I don't want to say it didn't have any use case, right? But if you guys actually take a look here, the last bull run, we were hitting up here around these highs, right? We we're even hitting all the way up here. We're talking around 22 bucks. And I believe that is just a small drop in the bucket, right? Whenever it comes to our next bull run. I personally believe now we have strong fundamentals. Not only that, but there's a little bit more dilution and we have a lot of hype here. We actually have a purpose. The TVL is still increasing, right? The total value locked is still increasing for this overall blockchain. We're talking about the DeFi blockchain of all DeFi, right? That's what we're talking about. So I personally believe, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know when it's going to happen, but I'm telling you right now that I still believe Injective is an amazing opportunity. It may take some time, but eventually we're going to get that monster move up again going into the future. You just need to hodl, and that is it.